Hey, it's Kerry. Today I've got some new and interesting farm animals here. Give a thumbs up and subscribe if you like farm animals. That's the Barbary sheep there. You can see some Brahmin cows and the bull and the calf there. In the background there's a donkey and some goats, a peacock and cats and kittens. This is the Holstein cow and calf. And here's a black faced sheep. The Jacob sheep, such a weird looking thing with all those horns. And a black faced ram. The black cat. Cats have powerful night vision, allowing them to see at light levels six times lower than what we would need. They also have excellent hearing and a powerful sense of smell. The cat and her kittens. Domestic cats love to play. This is especially true with kittens who love to chase toys and play fight. Play fighting amongst kittens may be a way for them to practice and learn skills for hunting and fighting. So cute. The Jacob sheep. I really like this sheep, such a unique looking animal. It's a rare breed of small, piebald, which means white with coloured spots, multi horned sheep. Jacobs mostly have four horns, but some have two or six. The most common colour is black and white. They are raised for their wool, meat, and their hides. They are also kept as pets and ornamental animals and have been used as guard animals to protect farm property and other livestock. I think I'd run if I saw that charging at me. Black faced ram. The Scottish black face is an attractive, hardy old breed, most likely from near the border of Scotland and England. They have been exported to the United States, Italy, and Argentina. Black face wool is used for making fine carpets and also some beautiful tweed fabrics. I really like this sheep, I love those horns. The Suffolk black faced sheep originated from Suffolk in England. It has a thick coat of fleece on its body. The sheep have hooves that are divided into two toes. They do well in wet conditions with their hard black feet. They have a gland between their toes. They produce wool for fine tweeds, carpets and it's also used in some mattresses. Barbary sheep. Barbary sheep are naturally found in northern Africa. They are found in dry rocky mountainous areas and are very agile at jumping from stone to stone and climbing up steep inclines. They look much like a goat too don't they? It has a light reddish brown 
short, bristly outer coat that blends in well with the sandy rocks of the desert mountains. Its underbelly is lighter in colour and a darker line along the back. As it ages, the coat darkens, like the long vertical fringe of hair that goes from the throat down to the upper part of the front legs. They have large horns that curve outwards, backwards and then inwards again. Males are longer than the females. The Jersey Cow. They originally came from the British Isle of Jersey in the English Channel. Most Jersey cows are brown or a fawn shade with a lighter underside. They also can come in shades of red, dark brown, grey or spotted or with a lighter underside. Whatever the colour, their muzzles, tails and flanks are generally dark. Jerseys produce more butter fat in their milk than any other dairy breed. Have a drink. The Alp Calf, such a sweet little calf. This breed originated in the Alp Mountain. In the Alps, the farmers drive the cows down to the Alpine meadows in summer because that's where the lush grass grows. At the end of the summer, the cows will return to the valley. They usually have large bells, so you can hear them from very far away. They have very good feet and strong legs for climbing the mountainous slopes. The black-faced lamb. Lambs are born in the spring. The ewes mostly produce single or twin lambs. After the birth, the ewes lick its newborn lamb clean. This is such a sweet one, just lying down, having a rest. This looks like a very new little lamb. I don't think it's got up yet. Most lambs will begin standing within an hour of birth and are able to stand and nurse from their mother. Holstein cow. They are easily recognisable by their distinctive black and white markings. They are the most common milking cow in the US and are able to produce an abundance of milk. They are also known as Frisian cows in some areas. Holstein calf. Cows can hear lower and higher frequencies better than humans. Cows have a single stomach but four different digestive compartments. This is such a sweetie. No two black and white markings are the same. Peacock. The male's long feathers are called a train and can grow to 6 feet or 1.8 metres long. The large train is used in mating rituals and courtship displays. It can be arched into a magnificent fan that reaches across the bird's back and touches the ground on either side. Females are believed to choose their mates according to the size, colour and quality of these amazing feather displays. 
peacocks are ground feeders and eat insects, plants and small creatures. Brahman calf. They are noted for gaining weight fast. They will consistently gain more weight per day than most other breeds. A Brahman cow gives milk for the first time after giving birth to a calf. And you can see that long fold of skin along the neck there, just like the parents. Brahman cow. It has a dark skin which prevents their skin being affected by sunlight and the short thick glossy coat helps reflect the sun's rays. They have sweat glands and are able to withstand extreme heat. They also have panoramic vision and a superior sense of smell. Brahman bull. The Brahman cow breed is the sacred breed of India and are very hardy and adaptable to a wide range of feed and climate. They are large bodied with a hump on their back where their neck ends. They have a small head with a broad forehead. Their ears are large and drop downwards and the muzzle is black. They are easily recognized by the excess skin on the neck, throat and underbelly. The swan and her signets. A male swan is called a cop and a female swan is called a pen. Baby swans are called cygnets and stay with their mother for the first six months of life. A swan will hatch up to 10 eggs at one time. Eggs take between seven and eight weeks to hatch. The swan is one of the largest, fastest swimming and fastest flying waterfowl and one of the longest living birds in general. The duckling's so cute. Females quack to call other ducks to them, usually their baby ducklings. A mother duck will usually lay around 10 eggs in a nest. Once the ducklings hatch out of the eggs, the mother duck will lead them to the edge of the water. In a short amount of time they can swim, waddle and find food. And there's another little duck there in the water. The mallard duck. This is the drake. The male mallard has a glossy green head, grey wings and belly, while the female has a brown speckled plumage. A male duck is called a drake and a female duck a hen. And of course the baby duck is a duckling. Ducks are omnivores, feeding on aquatic plants, small fish, grubs, worms and insects. This is the female duck or hen. She's a brown mottled colour to blend in with the undergrowth to protect herself and her nest. All ducks have highly waterproof feathers due to the feathers interlocking nature and a waxy coating. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Now don't go yet.
there's a fun ending coming up and remember to tell me how many calves in today's video. To subscribe, click that colourful super fun reviews button. Please share my videos on Google+, Facebook, Twitter or any other social media. Thanks once again.